Okay, so we have our pie crust made. I have here a very generous, well not really, a little bit bigger than three cups, not much. But before I do that, <laughs> get my head of myself here, Peggy. Remember when we canned our um, cream cheese? There we go. Hang this up or I'll lose it. <laughs> and where's my... So, it's already at room temperature. Bonus. Let me get it out here. This is going to be so good. So, this is about an 8 ounce, I think it's 8 ounce, guys, the brick. The, the normal size brick of cream cheese, okay? And then we have our can of, yeah, cream of chicken. You could use celery, mushroom, whatever you want, whatever you have. The chicken's going in because I had chicken at home. Now, when we throw that out to recycle, um, we still have to, we have to wash it. They won't take dirty cans at the recycle plant. I can't say I blame them. God knows what people throw in there. Just mixing that up. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's going to be in the pie. So I've got here my three cups of turkey, rough cut, bite-sized pieces. Mix that up in here. Oh, nice. This is such an easy to do. Just quick slap it together, especially if you make your pie crusts ahead. You could even use a store bought if you wanted. There's no right or wrong. I have here very generous two cups. I don't think I'm going to need it. These are just leftover veg from another meal. So yes, they are cooked. Look at that. Can you guys even see? This is going to be so delicious. Oh. Okay, I'm going to go get my pie crust because I already got it in the fridge to keep cool. I'll be right back. There we go. Nice and cold from the fridge. I'll take my bird pie out for just a moment. This makes a bigger pie, so this one's going to be really full. I don't think Andy will complain. Pack it down in there. When I worked in the kitchen at the retirement home, this was so requested all the time. With a nice side salad, they loved it. And they had big, generous portions. Okay, set this aside. It's time for the crust. I hope it fits, because this is a small crust. And this is a hefty pie. Sorry, bird. The bird was a gift from Angie at Life and More Reloaded. Uh, she knew I loved those pie birds. And let me just get a knife. My oven is preheated to 375. I'm going to cover the edges of my crust with aluminum foil to keep them from burning or getting too brown. Just going to move this over. Insert my pie bird. I'm not doing anything fancy on the crust, guys. The fancy is in the pie. It doesn't look like much, but those are the meals that impress the most. And this crust, uh, to die for. It was my Nana's handed down to my mother, handed down to this generation. Just pinching it. 
with the fork. Go around and just trim off the excess. I'm going to lightly brush it with a pastry brush with a whipped egg. And like I said, I'm going to wrap it in foil around the edges. And when the oven is preheated, I'll bring you back when that's going in. Okay, so <laughs> I am out of aluminum foil. Yeah, it was on the list and we forgot to get it. I got an egg whipped here. No, I did not use the man tool. I'm just going to brush this with my whipped egg. And throw that in the oven. How long? I don't remember. And I didn't write it on my recipe. 40 minutes comes to mind. I babysit anyway. And you know what? I'm using a propane oven that I'm not used to. So all my times are basically washed and I, I'm starting over. I'm learning how to use it. It cooks faster. It really does. Which is fine by me. I just got to get used to it. Okay, so this beautiful pie is going in the oven. And I'll bring you back when it's coming out. Well, looky there. Isn't that beautiful? It turned out perfect. So let's get a piece out. Andy's in the garage. He'll be out shortly. First piece is the hardest, right? Oh, it just looks so rich and nice. Get some of that filling out of mist. There we go. Perfect timing. Look at that. Just beautiful. I'm gonna go set this up for Andy. There you go. Perfect Hi. timing. Came in from the garage I just as I. I my hat at the table. <laughs> Look at this. Wow, am I spoiled or what? I go out to put, hook up the rhino <laughs> to the tender and I get a piece of turkey pot pie. And we've already had dinner, so this it's is okay. tomorrow's There's dinner. No stopping. <laughs> mm. Wow. It is Very so good, good mm. isn't it? Mm. Made it with Very that. Good. I know. Mm. Made it with the. Uh, chicken pot pie recipe but just use turkey we had leftover we got, uh, turkey carrots in here and being a piece not peas I Beans, used I mean. yeah I just used whatever leftover veg we had right right That's green good. beans and carrots typically we use um, carrots and peas for the Maybe chicken pot way, pie of course. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of the crust honey it's Nana's mm -hmm. recipe Suze? Nana's recipe Nanny very flaky. I know, eh? Very flaky. Really good. No mm. fail, guys. Honest to gosh. You gotta double that recipe to make a double crust. The only thing better than this be a beer. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> we can pair <laughs> that off with a beer for you. <laughs> so, do you like that chicken pot pie turned into turkey pot pie? Give us a thumb thoughts. So. <laughs> and don't forget that notification bell. If you haven't subscribed, <laughs> Okay. <laughs> this is good, though. Oh, thanks for your visit today, guys. Very flaky. And please do try this. And if you don't have turkey, use chicken. Whatever you have. Or duck. No, don't use duck. Duck pot pie. <laughs> say that three times fast. <laughs> don't, don't, don't say it. The reason for the pie bird is to vent your pie. See the hole? And it's got the hole in the bottom. I don't want to take it apart. Well, I do. So the pie vents. And it's like 4 and 20 blackbirds baked in a pie. 